Hey guys, I'm Michelle with Subjo7, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Last time, we went explored and explored the rest of Five Island, taking out R Resort Gorgeous, the Lost Cave, and the Memorial Pillar to the east of us. This time, though, we've realized there's kind of nothing else here for us to do at Five Island, so might as well go up. Next stop, Six Island. Six Island, the Fortune Island of Eight, the Fortune Islands. No, it's it's one Fortune Island of Aged Wisdom. Interesting. When you're this far away from the city, the sky at night is fantastic. I can concur with that. That is always true, and it's awesome. I love it. I love looking out into space when there's no light to disturb it. Looked great. Nothing that young people find exciting here on this island. This is a good place in terms of nature and history. Relax and enjoy your stay. Uh, I don't know about relax, but we're certainly gonna enjoy this day. Surprisingly, there's actually a mart out here of all places. Got quite a few good things for us, including mail, which isn't necessary at all. Play with Pokemon lots and live a long life. Take Agatha, for example. She set a record for being the oldest ever Elite Four member. She spurs me to do bigger things. Good for her. I should buy some mail and write him a letter. So mail is not something I've really touched. It's... The most basic of, like, communicating to each other through in-game messaging. And it's not super worth it. Don't bother. Got a hidden item over here, a Lepa Berry. Oh yeah, the actual six island itself is very small. Only three buildings. Oh, we already heard you. Keep on this way and you'll get to the water path. Stay on that and you'll get to the Ruined Valley. So he's technically right. This is the water path. There's actually two different directions we can go with this. Water path leads to Ruined Valley. I'm practicing in secret so no one can see me. Dude, you're out in the open. I can see you. But yeah, there's technically two different ways we can go today. If we go south, we'll go to the Ruined Valley, which I believe is where we need to progress. And if we go north, we get a few other places. I picked the wrong guy yeah, I had to bring out for this. Uh, Big Dex. There's no new encounters for us on Waterpath itself, but... There are some in either direction, and I think for today we're going to head north, because while it is not the point we need to progress the story, there's some cool stuff we can get up there. Nice work. Another Voltorb, that's fine. Just do strength again, get it out of here. Voltorbs do not scare me. Electrode, that actually kind of scares me a little bit, though. Uh, now is the part we use Earthquake. Fifteen ten, Mr. Mime. Wow, you got some weird Pokemon on your team, dude. Then again, you are a juggler, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Hyper Beam. Blast that Mime out of here. Gotta love as well, now that we got the Silph Scarp, Big Tex is doing even more damage. <laughs> as if I didn't need any more overkill. But hey, there is no kill like overkill. Nobody saw me losing, right? Uh, well, no one else was around here, so I think you're in the clear on that, bud. But yeah, we're gonna head north. We'll be back south another time, but there's other things we could be doing up here. What, you're suggesting that, we, that you're sick of seeing swimmers like me? Aw, uh, don't be hatin'. Oh, don't worry, dude. I'll save that for Generation 3. <laughs> if I ever get to Emerald. Give me, like, five years. I don't know. Gyarados! I picked a good time to have Dash in front. Intimidate got to my attack. That doesn't matter, because I'm a special attacker. Eat quad weakness. Please be enough to kill it. I am stronger than you. Yeah, there we go. That's the money shot. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. But you keep heading up this way. Find some twins. Find another house and find an item over there. I gotta get that. What's over here? Hello, sir. My height is 67 inches on the button. I know this precisely because my neighbor measured me. Good for you. That's like what? 
Hello, Pokemon. It's time to battle. All right, double battle. Six, six, seven. That's just five foot seven. That's not that impressive. Double Pikachu. Uh, that's an odd team composition, but I know what I'm doing. If you survive this turn, uh, sucks to be you, honestly. Just gonna cause an earthquake and murder you both, and possibly destroy the entire island. Yeah, that checks out. I'm fairly certain Big Tex is faster, though, so I should probably switch out Emperor if I'm going to do Earthquake. Thunderbolt. You used... I mean, to be, yeah, to be fair, they didn't really have a good target for that move. Just use Strength. Get it out of here. There's no chance Pikachu has taken out Strength from a Tauros with Silk Scarf. There we go. You're mean. You're bad for winning. <laughs> No, I'm not. It's not my problem if you two have two level 50 Pikachus and couldn't win. Want it. The ultimate horn. What? <laughs> okay, let's see what they're offering. Hera, Hera, Heracross. Big and shiny. It's the bug boss. Love it, need it. Heracross. Oh, it's this lady. Okay, so she's looking for a very specific Pokemon. Heracross. And if you can get her one, well, she'll give you a little bit of reward. But... We haven't really seen a way to get Heracross yet, so kind of can't do that right now. Let's grab that item, though, that we saw. What are you? Elixir! Useful. Simply float back over. Another trainer here. Might as well take you on. I let a pleasant breeze lead me all the way here. So what, you're a hoppet by nature? Just go where the wind takes you? Or a drift loon, I guess? Aroma Lady Rose. Sunkern? <laughs> oh god, Sunkern is one of the worst Pokemon, statistically speaking, of all. Just zap it. I know it resists it because it's Grass-type, but I want to see how much damage this does. <laughs> you resist that, and oh, that was, that's just embarrassing. Alright, Sunlight is strong. Now I believe that's going to kick in Sunkern's Chlorophyll, but it's not going to do too much. Out of here. Okay, now you got a Sun Flora, which is the evolution. That's slightly better, I guess. But you also made this easier for me. Get full on Sunflower. One thing is, Sunflower is not even that fast, so she kind of needs the uh, chlorophyll effect to kick in to, to even be any sort of a threat. But I'm also a Nine Tails, so you're dead. Bye bye. <laughs> you're so cute when you're determined. That's kind of weird. Please don't say that to me again. I want to go to the woods over there, but there are lots of bug Pokemon. Ooh. See what I think it is? Yes, it is. The green path, pattern bush ahead. Okay, so the path above us, like overall, is the green path and counting this area, but this is the pattern bush. There's actually some new stuff we can get over here that we have not seen before. Let's see if we can't uh, find something. There are a couple trainers in here as well, of course, but the big thing to note is that there's three new encounters here and that all versions of the game can actually encounter them too. It's just the odds of finding two of them are swapped depending on which version. Let's see which one I can find first. There we go. That'll work to start. So yes, we can also, for starters, find Lediba. Lediba and its evolution, Ledian, are not good. <laughs> like, Ledian's focus is special defense, but it's not that good of a special defensive Pokemon. There's better picks out there that can do this job better, and there's just... Not... Whoa! Okay! I didn't think that was gonna happen. Uh, but yes, Le Ledian and Lediba are not really that good. You can do better Pokemon. On the other hand, though... As you can see right now, Heracross. That lady who mentioned it earlier really should have just explored over here because here it is. Heracross is actually a really good Pokemon. It's bug fighting type, meaning it's quad weak to flying, yes, but it has some great stats and great moves that make up for that. 
I believe its best stat is its physical attack, which can reach as high as uh, 383, and it's a base of 125, so it's actually really good. But yes, of course, Heracross learns some pretty good moves, and its signature move, Megahorn, which is incredibly powerful, though you do gotta wait a while to learn that move. Well, you know Endure, that could be helpful. Now if you could just please put it to sleep, Emperor! Thank you. But yeah, we might as well catch this thing since we actually need it for that lady and she would actually like to see a Heracross. Uh, I think Heracross has a low catch rate, unfortunately, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's try a Great Ball. Damn it! Ah, so close. Don't make me do the same fate to you that I do to most people. Seed you. Wow, you're faster than me? Now you probably have quick attack, I guess. If I had to guess. But this should help with catching this thing. Oh, come on! Man, this thing is a bit stubborn. I know it's a low catch rate, but still, it's always been annoying when you can just struggle to catch a single Pokemon over and over again. Oh, come on! It's getting worse to catch. Stop enduring. It's not going to help you. You're gonna endure the hit, good for you. Go back to sleep. Damn it. My goodness, this thing is stubborn. Well, I guess what can I expect from something with a catch rate of 45? I guess while we're doing this, we can cover the last bug type that we haven't seen. There is one more that we can find around here, and it is Spinarak. Spinarak is another early game bug type like Lediba for Generation 2. You don't really want to focus on this thing. It's okay, I guess, but there's better bug types and there's better poison types, and its evolution Ariados is not that reliable. It looks cool, I guess, but there's better spiders, like, you know, Galvantula. Now please get in the ball, for God's sake, Heracross, you're gonna die before we do this. Thank you. It looks like warning it with the threat of death was enough to convince it to go in. This powerful Pokemon thrusts its prized horn under its enemies' bellies, then lifts and throws them. It's another, uh, beetle Pokemon. Though I think instead of, uh, Heracles, since that's what we gave... No, we, we gave Crusher, uh, that nickname instead of Heracles. I was gonna name this Hercules, but I actually had a different idea. So shout out to... DC Comics. Scarab. You know, Blue Beetle. Now, yeah, there are a couple trainers here, so we might as well just fight them. So let's see what you guys got. Have you noticed something odd about these parts? The fact that it's arranged in a bush maze, kind of? That's what I've noticed. Rumaniac Layton. Sand Slash. Picked a good time to switch. Take a drain. Get out of here. Another Onyx. That's not going to be too big of a problem. But yeah, there's actually no hell items, or like no items we can find out here anyway. It was just the wild encounters, which is nice, I guess, but kind of shame there's nothing hidden in these patterns. Just don't bother. Trying to do some exploring. If you just want some bug types, just come here. Otherwise, you can just pass right through here and go to the other area behind it. Another sand slash? My goodness. Get out of here. Thank you. That does it for you. 
Professor Layton. Have you taken a good look around your feet? Yes! We just discussed this, dude. Uh, that's honestly a good question. Maybe this was meant to be a place for hell items to be, but there's actually none you can find around here, so don't bother. Oh! Take a deep breath. Isn't the air delicious? No. It tastes like air. Which is very much not what I would call delicious, Dahlia. Dahlia Hawthorne? No, no. Not, not, that, not that series. Not yet. Not yet. That's another series that would be interesting to Let's Play, but I don't know. I've played Ace Attorneys 1 through 5, but... It's definitely not the right thing for that. At least not the right format to do if you're not going in blind. Though, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe another time. I'll figure something out. Who knows? You put me to sleep! Ugh. Oh, wait. I actually have a solution to this. Uh... There it is. Don't really use this very often, but Polka Flute does wake things up, so, you know. Of course, Cotton Spore trying to slow me down. Doesn't really matter, though, because I'm a Snagrit. Or a Fero, I guess. More cotton spores? You were putting me to sleep earlier. Why are you not doing that now? You guys are getting weird with your strategies. And again, I don't think they have a strategy. I think they're just going through the motions at this point. They know that we're better than them. <laughs> yes, yes, another skip loom. Get it out of here. You finally do something different. Oh, that's why they didn't do anything different, because it's, they're not good. Never forget, their Pokemon are not that good. If you'd like, I can teach you how to breathe properly. No! I, what? I don't need that. Anyway, pass through there and you get right back to the green path, where we can actually, you know, encounter Pokemon now. I don't really know why this is called the green path, given that there's water, and water, and water, water, but there's nothing else here that I would classify as green. Uh, let's... yeah, we'll switch. Uh, Nash, you can go in front. Huh? I was envisioning my house, but this is where I teleport? Psychic, I assume? Yep, psychic. Surprisingly enough, there's no new encounters in the Green Path. I'm still kind of confused as to why it's called the Green Path, but that's beside the point. Maybe it's supposed to be just of the forest, you know, where Pattern Bush is, but why call that Green Path and Pattern Bush? Doesn't make any sense. Slow, bro. Okay, now you're bringing out something bigger. Usually you guys don't, but I'm, in I'm intrigued. Zap it. Nice work. Good job, Nash. Kadabra? Uh... We'll go back to Snagrit. Big Tex usually gets all the fun when it comes to murdering things with low physical defense, but we'll change it up this time. Aerial Ace. Yeah, that checks out. Critical hit. Nice. Big Boo Boo. <laughs> what? Sure, are you trying to have the weirdest thing? I'm so scatterbrained. I need to focus so I can teleport properly to my house. I mean, it's still impressive that you can teleport, period, girl, but yeah, that's a bit that's a bit crazy. But yeah, go a bit further 
and we wind up in a place called Outcast Island. I don't really see an island, but intriguing. Another tentacle, though. More trainers out here, by the looks of it. It's not so easy sending Pokemon out while swimming, you know. Well, then why are you swimming? And getting into Pokemon battles. That's your own fault, lady. Meryl. God, that's a high-level Meryl. What? It always perplexes me that post-game is just like, Oh yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of high-level Pokemon. We're still not gonna evolve them, but we'll be high-level. So at least you know you're, in fact, in post-game. Just kind of confusing to me. Also, still no new encounters here on Outcast Island, which is fine, but... Some weird things out here. Okay, you two will be ready. Uh, double battle. Let's have a two-on-two -two marine battle. Uh, sure. Though, it's one-on-two, but you're still gonna lose anyway. Sis and bro, Ava and... Geb? Is that Geb or Jeb? Not really sure. Ooh, they got a Starmie. Okay. <laughs> I gotta kill that fast. Shockwave that Poliwhirl and just Frenzy Plant and get that Starmie out of here. I think it's probably faster than Emperor, but I don't care. Nice. What? <laughs> Why would you use Recover? Oh, it doesn't matter. You're dead now. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to work, but if it works, it works, I guess. Level up for Nash. God, he's so fast. Ooh, level up for Emperor, too. Nice. Here you go, guys. I'm trying to learn Synthesis. That's a good move. Synthesis is a grass move that heals you for up to 50%, depending on the weather. Ah, uh, shoot. But I actually really like having Leech Seed and Sleep Powder. Uh, I don't want to do this, but I kind of have to. Sorry, Synthesis. Oh, no, hit the wrong button. I'll push the wrong button! There we go. Oh, you're amazing! Even better, you're on your own! I mean, it wasn't that hard, given you guys both share a weakness, but whatever. But yeah, this is supposedly Outcast Island. There, there is a hell item out here. Huh. I guess that fisherman's guarding it. Didn't actually remember there being a hell item out here. Uh, let's change lead real fast since you are now stronger than everyone else, Nash. What are you? Pee pee up. Okay. I'm having no luck at all. Battle'd be a change of pace. I mean, hopefully your luck is better, but I kind of doubt it, dude. Fisherman Tylor. <laughs> That's a weird way to spell it. Quillfish, cool though. Take it out with Psychic. Sorry, Quillfish. Cool Ooh, second Quillfish. Maybe you will fare better. Now here's a question I've always wondered. Why is it that Quillfish is supposed to be like a Pufferfish Pokemon, but it can't explode? Because it's like always like a trope in like video games of Pufferfish being able to like shoot out their needles and such. Why not just have it blow up at all? Is that a thing that uh, Pufferfish can do in this game? I don't remember Quillfish being able to do that. I'm gonna double check that. Give me a second. Nope. As far as I'm concerned with this generation, Quillfish could not explode. Though that would actually be a pretty nasty trick, being able to blow up your fucking puffer fish. I don't think anyone would see that coming. Rocket Grunt? Uh-oh. What are you doing out here? I gotta take care of you. There's no rare Pokemon around these parts. Not a one. That burns me up, man. I'll take it out on you. No rare Pokemon? Well, that sucks. Muck! Oh boy. Okay, that's a strong boy, but I got Orion, so we're good. This might not kill it because Muck is special defense oriented. 
Ah, just barely. Sludge bomb. Ow. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Surf. Get rid of it. Thank you. Eradicate. Uh, you can just surf that one, too. Ah, crap. Hyper Fang. That could hurt. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Get it out of here. Alright, what else we got? Golbat. Yeah, I can take that. Psychic? And that takes care of you. Nice work, Orion. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> so listen, you haven't seen any rare Pokemon, have you? No, actually, not at all. Except for my Heracross, but that's different. Now, this is where things get a little bit weird. This is Altering Cave. You might think, okay, this doesn't look that special. It's just a weird little cave that only has a 100% encounter of Zubats. But, uh, you'd be wrong, actually. This was supposed to be a special event area for both Emerald Version and Fire Red Leaf Green. Altering Cave is unique in that it has coding built into it where, if special events were triggered, it would change the encounter you could find to different Pokémon. They never used this for some odd reason, so we never actually got to see this in action without cheating, but... If you look into the game's code, you can find upwards of, let's see, I think it's eight. Eight Pokemon that you can exclusively find in Altering Cave for this game. The eight Pokemon, if I remember correctly, are Mareep, Pineco, Houndour, Teddy Ursa, Apom, Shuckle, Stantler, and Smeargle. All Generation 2 Pokemon, none of which you can get anywhere else in Fire Red Leaf Green. Or Emerald Virgin, if I remember correctly. Well, Emerald, you can get Smeargle, but that's a different way. It's a really weird spot that sadly did not get utilized, but... I think it's an interesting idea of the cave itself literally altering to have different encounters in it. Kind of wish we got to see that in action, but that's beside the point. There's no held items in here, so don't really bother exploring here. You don't really have anything useful. Get me out of here, please. Thank you. Now we got that hair across, so let's go back and show that one lady. I will see you guys back at that house. Be right back. Wait, never mind, I was wrong. Hey Kyle, how's your Pokedex filling up? It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around just these parts. Maybe there are Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. Well, if I can't do it, there's no way for you to get it done. I'm not gonna get all these desperate. I'm not gonna get all desperate over this. I'll keep collecting Pokemon at my own pace while I train them. That's what I'll do. So there's no point staying here. I may as well leave for home. That's that then. Smell you later. Piece of shit. <laughs> what, what? I honestly forgot that he would just show up here at Six Island. I don't remember him being here. Kind of weird though that he'd pop in here, given that there's still a whole island we haven't even explored yet. And uh, not to spoil anything, but Seven Island has some pretty cool stuff in it you might want to check out. Let's uh, swap team members. I'll meet you guys back at the ladies' house. Alright, back over here. Now that we got Scarab in our party, let's talk to this lady. Eek, that's a Heracross! Please, please, may I measure how big it is? Oh, that's... <laughs> that's Orion. Let's see, do you fit the bill? Eek, it's 44.7 inches. I've never seen anything like this. You deserve a reward. And she gives us the nest ball. I want to see a much, much bigger Heracross than that one. Oh, I adore them big Heracross. Yeah, so every time you give her a Heracross that's subsequently bigger than the last one, she gives you a nest ball. Eh, nest balls are okay. They're good for catching low-level Pokemon because they work better on things below level 30. After that, though, they're about as effective as a regular Pokeball, so you don't have much to gain from them. Let's uh, work back and swap party members. Alright, back we go. Though I think for now we've actually done a fair amount of stuff for today. And I actually want to save the Ruin Valley stuff for another episode. So unfortunately it looks like we're going to have to stop here. 
Next time, let's play Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. We'll be heading south of Six Island to explore the Ruin Valley, as it's known, and figuring out what's going on with that place. Seems like it could have some interesting stuff for us, given that, you know, its name is Ruin Valley. It's always something interesting hiding in ruins, at least if you know Pokemon. Until next time, ice out.